Have you ever been asked whether a component is NPN or PNP? What exactly is this referring to? Why would it be an issue? This video will illustrate how to identify this in different circumstances. Let's take a look at a simple circuit. Our example is attached to this power supply. There is a positive voltage side to the left, or positive common side. There is also a negative common on the right. The DC circuit type will often determine which types of switches and loads must be used. Our objective is to immediately determine whether it is PNP or NPN. The difference is really based on how the components are wired into the circuit in question. PNP and NPN circuits are exact opposites, so their differences must be clear. Here is how we define a PNP circuit. PNP stands for positive, negative, positive. It has sourcing components, that is to say, the switch controls whether the load receives power or a signal. The negative common connection is quickly remembered by the middle initial N, short for negative common polarity. Similarly, for an NPN circuit, NPN stands for negative, positive, negative. It is said to have sinking components. The switch controls whether the load has a connection to the negative common. The positive common connection can also be remembered by the middle initial P. So how can I decide which is which? Let's go back to this circuit. The telltale characteristic to look for is which side or which common the loads are attached to. Let's look a bit closer at how either option would appear. The PNP circuit will have the loads connected directly to the negative common, and power can only get to the loads through a closed switch. The switch is the source to the load. Here are some examples of different loads that are used every day. This is an NPN circuit, where the loads are already powered from the positive common, but still need some switch input to connect the circuit to the negative common. The voltage is trying to sync from 24 volts down to zero. Here, all loads are connected directly to the negative common. That indicates a PNP circuit. With that information, let's look at some circuit component examples. Let's use this SY valve manifold and its EX600 serial interface controller. There are actually three polarity options for the solenoid valves, PNP, NPN, or they can also be nonpolar. The solenoids must match the polarity of certain components on the circuit. If the solenoids are PNP, they would be attached to the negative common as shown here. The valve needs controller signals to close the switches for either solenoid A or B to be turned on. However, if the circuit polarity should be NPN, the A and B solenoids are already connected to the 24 volt power. They just need controller signals to close the switches to sync to the negative common and thus turn A or B on. It will also help to determine the polarity for the switches or sensors. We will check this on available options for the ISC 40A pressure switch. If we isolate the wiring out to where the loads and commons are obvious, as this shading does, we can see much more clearly what is needed. With this first option, we have loads directly connected to the positive common, so this circuit is NPN. This next option, with loads directly tied into the negative common, can be quickly seen as PNP. So, for resolving NPN or PNP circuits, remember this. NPN has the loads directly connected to the positive common. The voltage must go through closed switches to sync from 24 to 0 volts. But PNP circuit loads are directly connected to the negative common. Voltage must go through the closed switches from the source to the negative common. Thank you for watching this SNC technical training video.